Hello, this is Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech doing my predictions for 2015. But before we go too far in them, I need to review my predictions from 2014 and see how they went. True Name Nemesis kind of failed on this one. I had the right idea, but then Wizards of the Coast double printed him and the format speeded up. Fetchlands. I still miss this one. I thought that Scalding Tarn and was going to be reprinted and then Polluted Delta wouldn't. It was the reverse. So. I got the right idea that they were going to reprint Fetchlands, but just the wrong ones. Scavenging Ooze, this one probably hurt the most. I had a bias. I thought this card was going to do great. And then because of Treasure Cruise, the environment really sped up a lot in Modern. And the last one was the value of Liliana. Liliana has started to go down in price because of Treasure Cruise. Treasure Cruise has really hurt this list overall. I still like her a lot. I wouldn't pick her up until after the PPTQ season's out there and those foils are flooded into the market. Then I would definitely pick her up. I don't feel bad picking her up currently because I think long term, if Treasure Cruise is removed from the environment, she is going to be the premier planeswalker. Now this one was just a complete guess out of nowhere. I still hope to see some multicolored. I did hit some though, right on. Wild Nick Coddle, yeah! Happy to see him back. Modern Masters 2 was announced for 2015. Super happy about this one. Now we have Planeswalkers in every guild. Excellent. Makes building EDH a lot of fun. This is the one that I hit right on and maybe even under predicted. The price of power has shot through the roof. Black Lotus has went up over 50%. Pretty much all power has been going up. Now, do I think this is gonna continue? Not at the rate it did last year, but I don't think they're going to crash. A few people have said that there's a huge bubble here. The fact is there's just not that many out there. So they're going to maintain their value and slowly move up the way they've had for the last several years until there's another precipitating event to shoot these through the roof. So my scorecard, a little rough. I got four out of ten. Six of them were not so good. A lot of it's due to Treasure Cruise. This year, I'm going to try to do a little bit better with these predictions, but unlike my speculation stuff, these are a little bit more out there predictions. I've got a lot less information and a lot more time than I'm looking at. If you've got your own predictions, though, throw them in here. Number 10 spot here, I believe that Treasure Cruise and Jeskai Ascension will be banned in Modern. I'm also just hoping this. I don't like what they do to the environment. Jeskai Ascendancy is just too powerful, too fast of a win, and Treasure Cruise brings down the curve of the whole environment and gets rid of the mid-range. I would be happy to see both of these go. I would like to see some cards come back. Black Vice could easily come back. I don't think it's that powerful of a card in Vintage or in Legacy. Punishing Fire in a combo-ridden world of really fast kills, Punishing Fire is not that punishing. And Frantic Search is probably the most controversial one here. I wouldn't mind seeing it back in Legacy. Maybe it's a little too combo-y. I like the card a lot. It would give a little more power to the uh, Serenity decks or to the High Tide style decks. Not a combo that a lot of people like. Why am I putting Frantic Search in here? I think it's just that I personally like the card a lot. Okay, Frantic Search won't come back. Let's cut that one. Number eight spot here, I've got Ravages of War is going to be reprinted as a Judge Foil. Yes, all the Portal Three Kingdoms big cards have been under the threat of being reprinted. Several of them have been. This is just one of those outliers. Maybe it could make it into a From the Vault set, but we're going to see a Black Border foil of this very soon. Modern Masters 2, I've got a whole video up with predictions. My big one being is that some big cards like Dark Confidant will not be coming back. Check out that video for more of those predictions. Number six spot here, the Shocklands are going to recover in price up to a $15 to $25 range. People are going to start playing Modern, especially after Modern Masters 2 comes out, and they're going to need Shocks. They'll start to dry up, and we're going to see 50 to 75% increase in their price across the board. We'll see a reprint of Scalding Tarn this year. I know I guessed it last year, along with all the Zendikar fetches. I think we're returning to Zendikar. I would not be investing in these at all, and I would wait for them unless you absolutely need them for a deck. Damnation's got to come back also. I was really surprised not to see this in the From the Vault set. My guess is that we're going to see it in Modern Masters 2. Modern Masters 2 is going to be the largest collectible card game tournament ever with over 7,000 people in Vegas. Yes, they're doing it in three locations, 
but it's going to be giant, and I hope to be there. This is my big speculation pick for the year. Cavern of Souls is so powerful. It's even playable in Vintage, very playable in Legacy, very playable in Modern. I'm surprised this isn't already a $30 card. I would definitely pick them up at $15 to $20 that they're going for right now. Now, I'm going out on a big limb here, but I think we're going to get an announcement of a really cool actress in the Magic the Gathering movie. I threw this out to the Magic the Seattle community, and we got several guesses. These being two of the most interesting guesses. I don't know exactly who it will be, but it's going to be somebody amazing. Thanks, this has been Brian Rowe with Mythic MTG Tech with predictions for 2015. If you've got your own predictions, throw them in the comments below. I would like to hear your predictions. Tell me where I'm wrong. Put those out there early so that we can look back at these in a year and see who nailed them. And finally, thank you to everybody who's over there on Patreon making the channel possible. Got some really cool stuff coming up this next year. We've got patron pack openings here in the next few days. Thanks.